Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. I have a uh, match in my Hazel. <clears throat> I finally dropped it a, a few weeks ago. And uh, I finally got a match in it. I finally got a team that knew how to work together. Uh, I've not been having a whole lot of luck in GBO lately. So GBO ain't been too much fun. So I actually took the weekend off. Uh, yeah, uh, Saturday there was ended up being no stream due to the fact that I had a shit ton of storms in my area and I didn't want to break my PS5. So I'm like, yeah, I'll turn it off. I mean, it's on a surge protector and everything. I just didn't, I didn't want to chance it. Do you know? You know what I'm saying? So ended up not streaming, and then uh, yesterday I was just, I don't know, I didn't. Uh, I was just wasn't in the mood. I just had a lot of shit to do, and I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to do YouTube, <laughs> so I didn't. Uh, but yeah, like, I got my unicorn, and sadly, in the role for the unicorn, I didn't get anything else. I do have the computer part, so I, I gotta put that on something. But yeah, uh, I haven't used the unicorn yet, except for in the uh, the the training of uh, the. Uh, Got a, the fucking test one where you get to test it out and all that, so, yeah. Uh, so I have that, but yeah. Um, Unicorn seems pretty fucking good. Uh, it seems to essentially just outclass whatever it fights if you play it smart. I've heard that uh, the best way to build it is actually just a tank build. Uh take some damage to get uh, NTD active and then survive the NTD mode and then attempt to get into the Waken form and then you get that huge defense buff. You lose some attack but you get a huge massive defense buff and then tie it in with you know the tank build and you just you take like you can take with my build uh, I think I, I was taking 50% less damage for all three categories. So I'm just able to stay into a fight, and it's got offense system, so it's able to, uh, as long as there's no cumulative stun, it's essentially just able to sit there and beat the fuck out of people. <laughs> uh, I really like its counter animation when it gets low enough health. Uh, health with uh, it just point blank somebody with the beam rifle that's so cool um, I'm just a little upset they don't have the same firing uh, sound effect for it I'm a little upset about that because uh, nothing beats that noise effect so I'm a little upset we didn't get that if I sound a little raspy it's because I haven't even been up for like 30 minutes yet so uh yeah, so the the suit's pretty uh, pretty nice. I like the design. Uh, I'm I'm kind of confused as to why the full charge takes three shots and not just two. Um, I, I find that a little bit weird. But the de uh, the damage on a, a full charge is pretty pretty good. Uh, the the sub bullpup is uh, pretty nice also. I really like the the damage on the bullpup and the range of it. And then you also have the uh, the beam saber, which has a nice a nice uh, damage ratio to it. The uh, shield, as you can see, acts like a booster, and I always kind of find like that like a weird weird design concept. Mainly because like if somebody fucking shoots that right, if somebody shoots your shield booster and hits or hits pretty much anything of it, it's gonna explode. And that just that to me doesn't sound like. I don't think that sounds really smart. I guess in the long way, uh, long way, it just doesn't seem like it'd be all that effective. I understand it's supposed to be mounted on the back. Uh, I don't think it was shown you. Like I don't remember because I haven't read the. Uh, I've only skimmed through like the Hazel, uh, the manga. So my knowledge on that, like lore wise, like in the manga, I don't think I've ever seen it actually boost with the shield mounted on the arm like that. I think I've only ever seen it boost with the shield on its back. So, yeah. Whew. Damn. But, yeah. Uh, Design-wise, it looks good. Very, very handsome mobile suit. It's not like... It's not like... 
eye bleach to look at either. It looks fine, like design wise. I love it. It just looks. I don't know. It actually looks like it's built for fucking fighting, and I love it. Uh, this thing is just sex supreme, and I love it. Uh, it's what its kit is essentially just very standard, uh, but it's a kit that actually works really, really well together. And you can't beat like the classic, but uh, ugh, fuck me, chat. I am. I'm not even tired. I slept really good last night. So, uh, oh, okay, uh, but yeah, like, I slept really good last night, I just fucking, still waking up, I guess, I haven't had caffeine or milk yet, I haven't woke up, I'm not there, but yeah, like, design, I like, I like the way the beam rifle looks on this thing, uh, I haven't tried it with the bazookas yet, so I don't know how those go, uh, I've only ran it with the beam rifle, and my, like, <sighs> I wake up but yeah like I love the design the uh, the the, the uh, damage on it once charged it can get up there which is nice and my discord does not want to switch pages okay well that's happening get get your hands off me punchy boy Gallus out of here you jumped forward I didn't mean to hit you I did Goomba stomp him though but uh yeah, like it's it's a decent kit. Um, I want to try it with the the, the bazookas on on it. Uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy this suit with the the shrap zook, even though people hate it when I use that fucking thing. But I enjoy it uh, mainly because you know shoot sh uh, shoot your shot with the shrap zook, then switch to the bullpup. Use that. <laughs> switch back to the shrap zook because it's gonna be reloaded. Unload with that. Switch back to the machine gun. Unload with that. And wash, rinse, and repeat. I think that's going to be a good combo for uh, this suit. I'm going to have to give that a go. But, uh... <sighs> yeah, I got, uh... I didn't get a whole lot of new suits through the drops, which... Well, a little upsetting. And there's going to be a new token pack for the, uh... Level 2 Zakutu Half Cannon and the Gogu uh, Gunther. Which I'm really excited about, because that means the level... The level one Gunther should be added into the shop here soon. It's just it just sucks that the Gunther is and the Hyzek or the Hive uh, half cannon is going to be token pack. Uh, that makes me sad because I really like my half cannon and uh, I tend to do good with it. And I would love to use the level two version. And I haven't ran the uh, Gilgu Gunther yet. I really would like to like to because for one. I really enjoy uh, heat swords, right? I just love the design. It looks, they look cool, and they got it on a Gelgug, and I like Gelgug, so that's like, uh, that's double win for me. So yeah, uh, back to the the Hazel. Not a bad suit. I like it. Uh, it's fun suit. Looks good. Very sexy design. Uh, but yeah. Uh, my brain just stopped functioning there. I went six and two. My uh, third, third or fourth match in this suit, so it's not too shabby. I like using it. Okay. Uh, well, I didn't want that to happen, but whatever. But uh, let's take a look at the patrons. We have Brandon Markey, Shipper, Azrael, Dragon Spartan, Nanigam, Nuggets, Jeff Dunclaff, Maverick, Momoka, Peter Strike, Oni Savage, Adam, Suda Souls, Ali Mouse, Still Talent, Minty, Robo, Mysteries, Mercenary. <laughs> Tyler May, Phantom Osi, Viscarians, and the Ghost Michael or. Uh, Xena, Ghost, Keeg, Bryson, Cla uh, Claudio, Christopher, Crusader, Serena, Leo, Coco, Xenic Shadow, NJ, Bean, Streeter, Rand Hero, Destroyer, Sean, Living Deadward, David, uh, RGM, 96, uh, I can't remember the full name of it, and Saltplot, Aki, I want to thank you guys for supporting me, it means a lot, and we shall talk to you guys later.